and welcome back everyone to the last part of Uncharted 1 Drake's Fortune. And I'm not gonna lie for a second there because of the SD quality. I, I <laughs> swear to God, I thought Drake lost his head. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else that reminded me of when Uncharted 4 was announced. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> well, what, what, what was the thing? Um, I, a YouTuber I used to watch back at, uh, a few years ago was Shokyo. Um, he is uh, Black Buster Critic's uh, brother, and uh, he was talking about like the reveal, the initial reveal trailer of Uncharted 4 was very weak, and like it could have been just Nathan Drake taking a shit and walking away, um, and everyone would have still screamed their heads off about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you See, when I think when I think of Uncharted 4 at E3, I think of uh, how they actually proved it was real in-game footage by the fact that the controllers stopped working. I mean, hey, it's nice to know it's genuine, but um, well, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the PS4 controller has a shit battery life. Oh yeah, so it's I the fucking. Oh yeah, not, definitely. As I would, I would not, uh, I would not doubt. That most likely the controller's battery just fucking died on them. And it's fucking when it and the, time. And, um, the battery is apparently huge. Yeah, like the uh, size of it. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, because that. there's a guy Wait. who did who tried to do like a one-handed uh, uh, PS4 for controller. I forget what the name of the guy, but but he said like to work around it, it was really difficult because the battery was really big. Hmm. I mean, in this day and age, if it were a big battery, there's no fuck. In, in this day and age, there's no fucking excuse for that shit battery life. Mm -hmm. It's like I just upgrade now. I, I mean, it, it, I think it just depends on exactly what the controller itself is doing because, like, um, I recently finally upgraded my phone to um, an S7, and Welcome like to compared the club. to the, I know, uh, and compared to the phone I had beforehand. Um, the battery life is better in some areas, but at the same time, I feel as if I'm having to charge it more than I should be. Um, but it also has to do with, like, how I customize my home screen and all, all that stuff. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not some, like, uh, hardware specialist when it comes to cell phones or stuff like that. But I should probably yeah. be take. I should probably be taking my, f my phone out of, uh, entertainment mode, uh, a bit more often. Well, my my, wait, my what mode. Wait, wait, wait. What mode? Entertainment mode. What's that? You didn't know that you could adjust uh, the performance on the S7? Yeah, it, it, I know you can do that because I just haven't done it yet because it's. I've never seen that. I've never seen that on my phone. Boy, you should look into that. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. Mine's. On, I mean, also mine's on like high performance mode, but I just got it like a week ago, so I'm still trying to figure stuff out about it. So. And I know it's also thanks to the fact that I have a Persona 5 theme wall sc uh, wallpaper screen uh, that is, like, very close to how the game animates it. <laughs> Everything about my phone is pretty much Persona 5, except the casing, because it's Xenoblade 2. <laughs> Which, by the way, at the time of this recording, we just released our impressions video. A.K.A. I was the one doing it with a friend of mine, uh, so definitely go check that out. Spoiler alert, we love the game. <laughs> I think, uh, so I watched a bit of it, um, what's, uh, yeah, nepotism, I'm watching shit on our own channel. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, oh, please, sometimes, it's not, sometimes, oh, please, it's not like other people watch us. I, I mean, I say uh, preparing, I, I say preparing to put, to, I say, uh, putting ketchup on my foot as I'm about the, to put it in my mouth. Looks the fact that we have 27 subscribers, so... There are people that actually watch us. I'm more just saying, like, there's nothing wrong with watching your own content. Sometimes you say something funny that you just want to go back and listen to. Yeah, that's I'm true. very guilty of this. I just went back to watch our Pony Island and Super Hot commentaries. Damn it, <laughs> um, Those but were what? hilarious to watch Eric fucking lose his mind. But what were you saying, DC, about the thing? Uh, yeah, um, uh, I remember at the beginning you were basically going, uh, um... Bringing up sort of had that effect to where it's um, sort of like a kind of like Last Jedi and other like sequels where it's like you can't tell whether or not it's better overall because you liked like uh, you like. Well, I mean, I can, I can, I can. Well, that was a that was just a few weeks ago too. 
um, okay, when, so, when we recorded uh, that. But I can say, as of now, though, and I'll say it right here on this commentary, I do prefer Xenoblade 2 over Xenoblade 1 as a game. Yeah. Now, I say there are certain um, things in Xenoblade 1 I like more. That is still true, yeah. but I prefer Xenoblade 2 as a game. Yeah, it's sort of that effect where it's like, you know, one thing, uh, there's, uh, one game or, uh, there's one, uh, where you just, as a whole, love it, but, um, but, like, the next game, uh, would, uh, you know, have some improvements that, and, uh, some elements that you like better, but there are some elements that you think are sort of not as good as the first so at that point it's sort of a debate as like well every I'll, i mean I'll, I'll say right now that i think everything gameplay wise is vastly better in xenoblade 2 than in xenoblade 1 but the story and music which are two of xenoblade 1's greatest strengths as as many people who have played the game know i will um, also actually say that one of the uh, xenoblade 1's uh, biggest strengths is its art style um, I like it. I like Xenoblade I mean, 1. Yeah, I style. like it too. I like it Way too. Way more than Xenoblade stuff. 2's. Yeah. Xenoblade 2, okay. In, uh, in, okay, in, barring, uh, you know, the fucking, uh, like the, the, uh, de the absolute butchering of female anatomy that that one character has. It's that's really anime. the only that's Did, like yeah disregarding the fucking memes Did, of, yeah, like, i know i am just some character design i am just look i i am not a character designer and i do not want to have to bring my friend jordan in here to really talk about like trust me he's in that same way he as as a person who draws a lot of stuff by the way jordan no matter what you say you're still a good artist um he i don't uh, know i don't know this jordan guy but you were but Here's the thing. He, Even if you are not, close not as good as what is what how you think you are, you are getting better. I don't know what you do, but I can assure you, you are doing good. <laughs> but um, yeah. Even even he will agree that the character design um for most of the blades are shit, but some of them do look legitimately good. Like I love Wolfric's design. Like that's some, like I know everyone wants to focus I'm, on like the one fucking panda girl who has tits. Like nothing. The else. bunny girl. But but like seriously, <laughs> the, the Wolfric. Wolf, snow, well, to be Wolf, to like be fair, ice, it's atrocious. The ice chick, yeah. But I I will say um, I, Pyrrha's design actually grew on me. Pyra. Pyra, whatever. I I, think I disagree. I I just Ruby. like all the character designs. I find it to be too generic anime. I don't think you've seen yeah. Ursula, though. Ursula and Wolfric's designs look fucking awesome. No, but from what I've seen, it just looks very generic anime. Either it's it's kind of like the overdone, kind kind of the overdone anime sort of thing, thing just in terms of, like, uh, clothes and that. I and mean, the, the game the game is anime as fuck. I mean, I'm not even going to lie about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean it could that be anime point, as fuck, but still have an interesting art style. But, like, uh, I'm also a really big fan of the Tail series, which is very, very, very guilty of this. Yeah, oh, I and uh, right here, say, I skipped the cutscene on X. I almost skipped the cutscene on X, so that's why I, I was going to say, Pat, like, you know, uh, Xenoblade 2, I mean, it's nothing more anime than, say, like, Tales or, like, Final Fantasy X. Oh, I don't like uh, the art. Oh, I don't like a lot of the art style for uh, plenty of the Tales games either. Hmm. Oh, that point, it's to each their own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really is but, a to each his own, because honestly, I don't want to get into that. I am not a character designer, so I don't really have the proper critiquing skills. I've to say studied shit, but uh, uh, art stuff, so... I have taken a few art classes, but that does not mean that I am qualified for shit. Because yeah, I'm I was, an, I'm I was an, about I, to say I, that, Pat. I, was, I am an I editor I understand trade. basics. If you ask me to go into specific details... Fuck off! <laughs> then, well, well, fuck off. But I can at least, but, um, under, I at least understand. Anyway, like, anatomy here, and here we go. This is what we've been looking for all this time. We finally see El Dorado, the golden one. And this is why also Roman does not need to be in this fucking game. And I still stand by that statement because this cutscene is pretty much the biggest like fuck you. Bullshit. Now drop your whip. Also, I'd like to point out that even though um, we ha we can get the revolver and it kills enemies in one shot, um, Sully is not the most overpowered character in this entire game. <laughs> huh. Huh? That's apparently, apparently when uh, the revolver that Sully has, despite being, you know, the same one that you can pick up, doesn't kill everything in one hit. That is only a shell. 
The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. Actually, what's really funny is uh, on my campus. Ah, right uh, shit. He's being played by that one guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's being. <laughs> Navarro is fucking him. Yeah, um, there's a. There's a. A professor I have in one of my classes right now, and I swear to God, he sounds just like Sully. <laughs> I'm just waiting oh, to say, oh, oh god, god he's in, oh Toronto. god, he's inhaling thousand years, a thousand years of vape vape smoke. <laughs> it's, it's a sarcophagus. It's the, it's, I know. It's the it's the fire alarm at Ichiban Khan all over again. <laughs> wow. And there you go. That's what that's his that's whole role. That's all in the game. he's there for. Yeah. <laughs> he just he's so yeah, fucking pointless. Uh, adios, Hefe. Uh, see you later, boss. I believe it was, or big guy. That thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what Did he say uh, Sayonara El Jefe? No, he he said like Adios Jefe. Ah, uh, I was hoping he'd say El Jefe because then we could call him the Jeff. <laughs> you are so pathetic, all of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? This is really he weird. He knows. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Like, uh, I, I caught that. I'm the only one who knows what he's doing. Mm. He's intending to sell it as a biological weapon, isn't he? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, th huh. I don't know why I like Nate's face right there. Just help look. I didn't get it. Uh. But Damn. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not gonna lie. So so, so wait, liked... they're all getting attacked by Spaniards? Yeah, more or less. Well, I guess they didn't expect. Well, I guess you could say no they didn't expect that. No one expects the Spanish that. Inquisition. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, I guess you could say they didn't expect it. But um. By the way, this part uh, just yeah. run past so, everything. Don't even try to fight. So I'm not gonna lie. I definitely see what you mean because. I was get liking Simon Templeman's character until that moment, in which case, what the fuck is he even doing here? I know, and and like he's the most guilty of this in the entire series. Even in Uncharted 3, the main villain in that, at least she does have some history with Drake and Sully. Yeah, I mean they're still kind yeah, of. And, bad. It, and it is established of what it is. That too. said, I still it's think like, that I the final fight that he... in uh, Uncharted 3 is not good. Uh, like I'm always a fan. I'm always a sucker for you know the suave. Uh, I guess Bond villain, uh, but goddamn, that's a waste of a character kill. Like, oh, oh, wait till you see this. This is really bullshit. Also, um, my roommate was uh, here, saw me record this part, and like even he was like, "What the fuck?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just wait. It gets better. It gets better. Oh god. So, you know, and Drake his, and his ankles are dust. Oh, no, yeah. wait, no, look at this. Elena doesn't get a single scratch from this, by the way. <laughs> She's no worse for wearing Navar Navarro. Navarro looks like he... What the hell? That's... You know, even, even that's underselling it. I'm just going to say that right now. If yeah. Navarro got... Okay, I'm, but at least... Come on, you need continuity, man. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, okay, final so boss question. time. And, it, so and it's question. its own chapter? Is is it expect... Uh, so, I guess to go back to that with, you know, Simon Templeman. Um, is it ha at least... I mean, I'm, I guess my fault for not paying... I'm trying to pay attention, but fuck me, right? Um, <laughs> no thanks. Is... Is... Ro uh, has Navarro been hinted to... Uh, be like uh, trying to be using no Simon no it they really they just had comes one up. scene where he's just like man fuck this guy yeah that was that's it. it but uh, that's it yeah. yeah no hintings no like 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 here's the thing I will praise Uncharted one for its its attempt at foreshadowing and I do yeah, and I, I do like say, and I do for like, a game that does that so well for the big twist like you'd think for the twist of who the bad guy really is like. You'd think that they'd have done more foreshadowing for that. No, uh, like that's one thing I can't, I can't, like at the beginning when, when like Roman shoots Sully, like if he needed Sully, like, you know, at this point it's not, I mean, it's not really assumed that, 
I mean, it, it is assumed that Drake knows who Roman is, but like, it doesn't look like they've met at all. So why would he kill Sully, but not Drake, if he wanted Sully to find the treasure for him? Like, that, that, that makes no goddamn well, no, he sense. Did, he, the thing is, he was going to shoot Drake, but Sully stepped in. Yeah, but that still doesn't mean a goddamn thing, really. Um, also, also, also uh, this boss fight is really bullshit because you'll see me ducking down when he does the three shots and the moment he does that little aiming at you thing, duck or it's an instant kill. Really? Yeah. And you'll see how that comes into play here in a bit because, um, this pretty much is the this... part where you said you did some edits, oh, right? Ah, fucking aimbot. I no, hate it when just... I'm playing online and people use that shit. No, it's pretty much just, um... What? Oh, they're using that shit, then they're getting banned from online. I, no, I, it's I, pretty much just like, up to this point, you're just doing mook rushes. And, you know, you don't really have much in terms of cover that you can, can use. Can you here. shoot him? There's no. you. I mean, it's not really going to do anything because you have to... Just wait. We will fight. Yeah, we will fight Navarro, but it's going to be just a second. By the way, I have died multiple times to those guys coming off the raptors right there. That's why I knew that... They were coming. And I shot them beforehand. For a second, I I know you said off the rafters. I for a second I know I, I know I think I, rafters, I, I, just I think imagined. I did say that. I think I did say that. You said Drake raptors. survives this. Yeah, you did say you did say <laughs> rafters. Uh, <laughs> you just see soldiers pair <laughs> gliding in and off of velociraptors. Yeah, sure. What gun is that? Smash 12. It's just <laughs> okay. Because uh, it looks like it has a spread of a shotgun. Yeah, it's a shotgun. It's called a Spaz Yeah, that, and that was me getting stuck on the cover system. It's an Italian. It's an Italian-made shotgun that uh, was used by uh, Soviet soldiers, and it's, and that is the only reason as to why it's it was banned uh, for use in the U.S. Because the Russians used it. God damn! <laughs> yeah, it's a one shot. You <laughs> really can like. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, come on! Alright, so the way this works, and what you're supposed to do... Are you just doing do, a death montage? No, but what you're supposed to do here is wait for him to do that. He'll um, kind of like laugh for a bit. You need to go into the next site of cover. And once you do that, you're good to go. Okay, how the hell did you did did you make that? It's pretty much exactly what you're supposed <laughs> to do there. Um... And yeah, this is the final boss. It's so like this is one thing I won't give Uncharted more credit for because this is so <laughs> stupid. I mean, that's what this cutscene is. It really is. Ever since I first played this game, this is what I've always thought of, and that's it. God. <laughs> that's literally the final boss. Fucking, fucking OG Star Trek bullshit. Which I've never seen Star Trek. Uh, just watch New Generation. I really Next had no action. interest in Star Trek to begin with, honestly. Honestly, if you're interested at all, the J.J. Abrams. The, okay, the, if you're the, if you the don't have time movies. for the for a television show, watch the J.J. Abrams fi films. If you do have time for a television show, watch Next Generation. Adios, asshole. Really? Yeah. And that's the end of it. And that's the end of El Dorado. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is you a know, bit of a, I, it is a gruesome actually, death, really. I guess actually with the twist that it's a sarcophagus, uh, the the trans the rough translation of the golden one actually makes a lot more sense now. But uh, I, the, I love I, I really love Sully in this cutscene, by the way. <laughs> but what I really have to ask is, what the fuck were the Mayans doing with uh, basically a the equivalent of a pharaoh's curse? We really won't be bringing this story up again until Uncharted 4. One small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. I really want to get a necklace of the Sick Barbus Magna Ring. God damn it. <laughs> I love it. He doesn't look that bad. Nah, he doesn't. Got us a boat. I like this line coming up. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> I like this one better. <laughs> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch. Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is such okay, a B movie. Okay, I'll get that. That, that, that was a good that's one. That's just funny. That's just funny. Yeah, this is just a really B movie script. But, like, 
I I still really, really love this game. It is just so easy for me to go back to gameplay wise because it's Sorry it's very story. simple. And and like I still will say Uncharted 4 is still my favorite, which I did finish since uh, the last recording, I went back and replayed it. But this one is ju it just has a lot of charm to it. And also we get to end on Nate's theme, which again, I, I love this song so much. Yeah, this is really good. So, um, since uh, John has been uh, really, well, singing the game's phrase, phrases and not I'm not well, gonna... he did. He we basically finished off with his final. Yeah. Thoughts. So well, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll still. I mean, that was more just kind of me saying I love the game. But, I, I'm just um, also I'll, I'll just talking about throughout the game. Yeah, but You've I'll I'll that. let you guys go first before I get. Yeah, my yeah. Final DC, you do it. Give me a little yeah. time to think. Yeah, because I actually. I was uh, about to let you go. Uh, no, I actually want DC to go because I've since as a person who's not played this game, what was I want to see what your impressions of it was. Okay, um, well, like I usually, well, like I always do, I'm going to be a bit long-winded for this, uh, going through the game, uh, segment by segment, but, death story-wise, okay, the back story-wise, you know, the lore of, you know, the truth of El Dorado, uh, that was actually really interesting to see, and, you know, like, uncovering the mystery as we went on. You know, like, what the fuck happened here, and going into, like, exactly... Yeah, Gabriel Roman, Simon Templeman. Goddamn. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hi, Yuri Oh, oh hi, Steve Bloom. Hi, 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 Fred Tadashore. <laughs> Tadashore. Or Tadashore. I'm sorry, that. That's not a French name, that's an Italian name. <laughs> anyway, we still got some credits to go, so keep going. Anyways, um, you know, the lore, the backstory, you know, the mystery, that's pretty good. The story in and of itself, you know, like you said, it's B-movie, but it's definitely a good B-movie script. Like, they have a lot of fun with it. And it's clearly evident that they're just having a fun So is John time. McCoy the real McCoy? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you even know the story of what, of the phrase... What? The real McCoy. Yes, it's Hatfields and McCoys. Nope. Okay. All right, but anyway, keep. <laughs> let's keep going because I'm, I'm actually these credits. Anyways, these, these credits are not very long. <laughs> anyways, um, now time, but you know, with, with uh, you know, soundtrack is amazing and it fits the movie and if it. <laughs> The movie. It, it is not too wrong. If it's the story, if it's the story of a B movie, and it's so like, this is definitely a uh, a game that would definitely fit as like a movie, like a a cutscene library movie. Mm -hmm. But um, my when it comes to the game, you know, gunplay, you know, third, it's your standard third person cover based shooting. But when it comes to, I guess, the design, you know, the puzzles are good, or it, at least the puzzles are plentiful, but when it comes to the actual combat, Jesus Christ, can we please stop? <laughs> I promise the rest, I, I, I promise the rest of the series does fix this issue. Like, I, I, there had to have been some point in development where the designers were just telling the, uh, the uh, where like the the guy designing uh like um the combat encounters so they're just telling him stop stop we had enough like five fucking combat sections an hour ago i uh, no i got or well i'm just going to say probably more likely that once they were making the sequel it was just like okay what was there too much of yeah like there were definitely like like i Cannot stress enough how much Uncharted 2 fixes so many issues in this game. The big, you know what I, you know what I can definitely sum it down to, pacing. Yeah. That's, that's basically if one word for this game's flaws. Pacing. Specifically with combat. Holy shit! This combat encounter has lasted five minutes longer than it should have been. And oh, look at that! We have three more on the way. And it's Jesus Christ. And, it, and let's be frank: the the combat 
is the the gunplay itself is too is like too shallow for there to be that much. I mean, yeah, like I brought it's it up. It's bad. Like it's but, bog standard third person cover yeah. based shooting, and that's fine. The thing is, it's bog standard to the point where it's bog standard. You but it's stretched not thin. something that you should be overemphasizing. But they overemphasize it to high heaven. In this I game. think it would be better to say it's stretched thin. Mm. Yeah, it, it's yeah. That's actually the best way to put. It. Like they put it so much to the point where it just it it gets stretched out too thin. Um. All right. So. Um. But I mean, it's a you know good story, decent gameplay. It's just. The combat encounters, holy shit, what the fuck happened to the pacing? <laughs> All right, but let's uh, go ahead and um Well, hang on, I haven't there. said my, uh, said my piece. I, no, I meant, I was going to say, let's finish it off with your thoughts, uh, Oh, I thought you were just going to say we're going to end the part. I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, just... Uh, I was about to call you out there. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie, this was really fun to watch, but I probably don't have can't really bring my but like now that i've done this i probably can't really bring myself to play it like because it's just like i i mean to be fair to be completely fair the uncharted games are not exactly my thing to play mm. yeah like i so like uh, I, I have I, it's still my bit well i was going to piggyback off there uh on that for um like i'm kind of on the same boat there like i have the nathan drake collection one two and three I don't see myself ever going to play uh, one. Maybe if I'm bored and I have nothing else to play, which means in about 50 centuries. <laughs> um, I, my backlog is just that big. But, um, I mean, if I'm going to be playing on the Nathan Drake collection, it'll be either with two or three. But Anyways, continue. Um, yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun g going through this little B-movie um, romp. Kind of just... I'm sorry. <laughs> I just ate, <laughs> so. You're fine. Mm. I did too. I've been burping uh, on mic, so. Anyways, um, seems like a seems like a fun romp. Uh, I couldn't really hear that much of of the music because uh, I had the volume low lowered a bit too much. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Uh, but I'll I'll just pick up the I'll just like find the soundtrack. I'll listen to that. It's and it's. It's got to be good. on the on the music. It's standard PS3 orchestral soundtrack for an action. Game. Yeah, which and in other words, really, it's not really bad. fucking good. It's not bad, at yeah. least. Well, no, no, no. That uh, that's what I was gonna say. It, basically, in other words, really fucking yeah. good. Okay, um, I think I would say like on music. Oh, go go yeah. ahead. I'll finish but, off. Um, uh, control. Control wise, it looks uh, besides some moments of jank, uh, look pretty, pretty good. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what I, else I can really add to the whole thing about the combat encounters that DC has already said. Oh my god, that is, I, I mean, I like I, like, can we please just fucking stop? I, I, as I said, <laughs> which, as as I said, it it is box it is box standard gameplay fine that is absolutely fine it's not when it's stretched thin and it's and, and like when it's stretched thin it's like jesus christ this is getting tedious. and i will say as as a negative for the game when you can be stretched this thin in a game that's this that's this relatively short ooh god yeah uh, ooh. that's yeah, a problem right you know, it kind of feels like uh, there was a quota for enemy encounters, but uh, but they had anticipate, but that was that quota was made uh, when they anticipated the game to be much longer than it was. I find that a quota so they crammed, so they crammed in that quota for a game that was supposed to be like twice as long. I I'm going to That's disagree with like. that notion. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about like enemy like quotas is like really a thing they do with the games industry i not not necessarily enemy quota but more like encounter okay quotas. but 
Like, that's just what it seems. I, like, it seems like there were twice as many encounters as there should have been for a game this long. So it seems like with the and the I amount think it was, of encounters that we had, it was meant for... Okay, we get it. There are too many encounters, well, okay? I, 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 if I were yeah. to I'm sorry, it, I'm sorry, but we're kind of just saying the same thing over and well, over yeah, again. Well, yeah, but if I'm going to put in my two cents, I think it was just... Um, they were a bit pressed for time, and so to make up for, for like, love... For like actual levels and platforming stuff that was lost, they just threw in enemies. I did uh, from uh, that seems heard, like something that's not necessarily more plausible. actually uh, from what I heard about the development specifically for Uncharted One, it was under a rush development. Yeah, so. that's. I mean, it, look, which generally is sort of the. Uh, I mean, what is Sony under fair? a rush development cycle in this day and age? Uh, well, no, um, the thing, AAA. Uh, well, I mean... It, <laughs> All right, we, we've uh, been going a bit too long, so please wrap it up. But, but yes. Well, that's also, uh, that's generally a Sony thing. Like, generally, they put a rush on, basically, games from new IPs. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, uh, this was a, a hell of a fun time that I ha had, uh, and, um, I don't see, I don't see myself really, uh, pick picking this game up, up, because it's just... Because, like, I mean, I, I'm not going to say it again because we've it's, said it enough, but... It's Crash 1 in the Insane Trilogy. If you're getting the Insane Trilogy, you're getting it for 2 and 3. If you're getting the Nathan Drake Collection, you're getting it for 2 and 3. Well, 2, but... Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. This was a this was a good time. Can't wait until we get to uh, Un Uncharted 2, whatever the hell that is. I'm not trying to which say that be, in way. Which will be... Which I'm just doing... I just, John's doing Uncharted 2. I'm doing I'll three, probably four, be Lost getting. Legacy. I'll probably be getting started on Uncharted 2 here in the next few weeks, because um, after going through this commentary, um, I'm, first let me ask: are you, Is that pretty much the end of your general thoughts on it? Yeah, pretty much. I. Um, in the, in that case, just to kind of like go over once again, I really love Uncharted 1. Yes, it has its issues, and I can, and I'll definitely agree with you. You know, the pacing needs to be worked in better. The combat is way too many, but this game is just so much fun for me to go back to that I don't mind it as much for that. Oh yeah, well, but I promise, I promise, I promise. Though Uncharted Two it fixes so many of these issues, and by the time we get to Uncharted Three, the control is pretty much what it the story what, makes up for the gameplay basically is what you're saying. well that's uncharted 2 uncharted 3 story is a whole other no, I'm, more, issue. I'm talking uncharted 1 <laughs> i'm talking with uncharted 1 no, um, but yeah, yeah. Like, i i will say this like you despite, go back to this despite, game because like, the story makes up for the game despite uh Kinda. despite us complaining about about the that i will say whatever what the game did what uh uncharted 1 did right it did very well yeah. yeah, and Uncharted 2 is pretty much the Assassin's Creed 2 of the Assassin's Creed series, except Uncharted 1 is good, and Assassin's Creed 1 fucking sucks. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next commentary. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did. See you guys next time.